Hey Tubies! So this video for this particular Weedy Wednesday is going to be specified for those who suffer from acne. Um, I get a lot of people asking me questions, what can they do for acne, um, things that they can use herbally to help uh, wash their face and treat their skin blemishes and dilemmas that they may or may not have. Um, so uh, going over a couple herbs, uh, and I will post up a link where I have this actual list uh, posted up on um, the Green Eyed Owl Facebook page. Um, but yeah, so a couple things that you can use that are easy to get, very easy to do. First, number one is aloe. Um, it's an astringent, has antibacterial activities, or activities, blah, blah. and when applied topically just to your skin every day, whether you have a sunburn or just on your skin where you have real thick skin rashes, um, psoriasis and such, it's a great um, antiseptic to kill any bacteria that is in it or building up in it as well as moisturize it in a very, very awesome way. Um, calendula flowers, also known as um, magnolia flowers, oh, not magnolia. Why do I always do that? Calendula is the same as marigold. I don't know why I always do that. But you can make an infusion out of that. You can drink it um, to help it internally. Uh, you can also apply it topically and externally. Witch hazel is another great one. If you have um, pimples and zits and such, as tempting as it can be to pop them. Um, it's not a very good thing to do. You destroy the tissues and the skin around it, um, which will breed even more bacteria, especially if you're not one that washes your hands too often. And it makes your skin susceptible for even more and more blackheads and zits and pimples and such to pop up. So take a little cotton ball. Um, you can make an infusion of a couple different herbs, golden seal, echinacea, calendula slash marigold, like I said, and use witch hazel and dab it on there wherever you might have a blackhead or blemish or um, a zit or a pimple and it'll help dry it up and help it heal away and go away faster as well as sucking away all that just nasty that gets all up in there. Um, now to name off a couple other ones echinacea, burdock root, uh, tea tree oil, rose water those are the main ones. Um, now what I want to specify on acne because I have a lot of you message me that you have a problem with acne. No, no, doesn't matter what age you're in. You know, if you're a young teenager and it's, you know, puberty's hitting and the hormones are going crazy, yes, some people are more susceptible to acne than problems than others. Uh, now, if you're older and you are, uh, even after you're done going through menopause or you're just in, you know, past your midlife crisis if you're a man, whatever it is, acne is a source of your liver and your internal organs needing to be detoxed. When you have a buildup of certain toxins in your body from the environment you live in, from the diet that you eat day in and day out, and other things that you may consume, alcohol, whatever it is, uh, it does build up toxins in your body. And everybody's body has a different way of dealing with this buildup inside of them. So it is so important to actually treat acne internally and if you do that and the main way to do that is taking milk thistle a liver detox of sorts uh, burdock root is another one that I mentioned and taking that um, as well as a diuretic like dandelion to help your body flush it out after a couple weeks of solidly doing so and even longer about four to six weeks you will see a tremendous uh, amount of your acne disappearing or way way less breakouts uh, so if you really have acne and it's something that you are suffering from try taking a different approach you know treating things topically and externally you know washing your face with lavender oil or not lavender oil sorry lavender infusion um, or different infusions of you know yarrow uh, echinacea evening primrose uh, Treat your acne internally by detoxing your body and really evaluating, hmm, what have I put in my body lately? And is it something that you, you know, depending on the diet that you eat, is it making your skin more oily? Is it making it more dry? Um, so not only treat it externally, treat it internally. And after about three to six weeks, we'll say in a safe bet that you will see less acne, less breakouts, and you will actually have clear skin. Much love to you tubies, and like I said, check out the Green Eyed Owl Facebook page for the list that I have on there, and um, much love and light to you. I'll see you later. Bye.